Success. Everybody wants to be successful. How do you have a successful life? Well, you might ask someone who has lived one. And former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich and his daughter Jackie have teamed up on a book. They share the principles that have meant the most in their own lives. Reporter Mark Martin has more. In this fast-paced digital world of instant gratification, everyone wants a successful life. But the quest for success can be overwhelming. The pressures of modern life can force us to abandon childhood dreams and settle for what we're told are more realistic aspirations, often at the expense of true fulfillment. But does life have to be so complicated? Former Republican Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich and his daughter Jackie Gingrich Cushman say achieving true success and happiness is as easy as following five simple guidelines. In their new book, Five Principles for a Successful Life, From Our Family to Yours, they say the secret is to dream big, work hard, learn every day, enjoy life, and most importantly, be true to yourself. Each principle is backed by personal stories of encouragement from more than 40 successful, famous people. The Gingriches say that if people don't laugh at you when you share your dreams, then you're not dreaming big enough. Hey, what an intriguing subject. Newt Gingrich and his daughter Jackie join us now from Washington. Folks, good to have you with me. Well, what is success? Could you give me a definition? Well, let me start with the dream big part, Pat, because I couldn't help but think of your own life story. And that very first time you decided that if you could find 700 families that could help you, uh, you might have one television station. I, mean, think, I think of you as a perfect example of the dream big, work hard, learn every day, enjoy life and be true to yourself because you've done this for your whole career. And I'm, I'm not trying to just pander to you, but those people who have watched you and who know you know it's absolutely true that Jackie and I would, I think, believe that you personify uh, what we're talking about. Well, I'm delighted to hear that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jackie, tell me about you. This is your first uh, appearance on the public scene. How come you, you collaborated with your dad? Well, this project started um, when we began talking about my children. I have two children, Maggie and Robert, and they wanted to know how Grandpa became successful. And it was so important to me that they understand that it took a really big dream, a lot of hard work, and that there was actually a road to success, that it wasn't you woke up one morning and were Speaker of the House. It took a long time. New uh, dream big. What, what, what were your dreams? Were you dreaming about Speaker of the House, or are you still dreaming about the White House? Well, I'm, I'm dreaming that we can have an America that returns to its belief that we are endowed by our Creator, that goes back to the basic principles of hard work and free enterprise, that recognizes that we have enemies who want to kill us and are prepared to defend ourselves. Uh, and I think that my dream is to be, I guess, sort of a, a grandfather teacher, and if that leads me to other leadership roles later on, why I'll come back and talk with you then. But for the moment, I think trying to outline, you know, what we have to do both individually, which is what Jackie and I have tried to do in this book, and what we have to do as a country, which is I tried to outline, for example, in a speech last night to the House Center dinner. Uh, but I think of myself as a grandfather teacher for the moment, and we'll see later on if that leads to leader as a role. What about cheerful? You've always seemed to be a cheerful warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think my daughter and, and, and uh, the rest of my family will tell you, there are significant moments I'm not all that cheerful. But I think I'm, I'm so grateful to be alive, to be an American, to be free, uh, to have a beautiful family, to uh, have been allowed to do so many fun things. that I, I, Even though I sometimes get tense and I sometimes get frustrated, on balance, I get up every day really excited about being allowed to be an American and to be on this show and to talk about ideas. Jackie, what, about, what is your family situation? You have a lot of children? And... I have two children, Maggie and Robert, uh, and this week they're actually out of school and they're staying with my mom, going right. to vacation Bible school where I grew up. Um, and we have a very close family. Um, it's very nice to have both working with my dad, to have my mom help with the kids. Uh, my sister's here today. But family is so important. It, cre it creates the base of the foundation for really, you know, what's important in life. And you, you had a number of contributors to this book. Is any one that stands out that inspired you the most? Well, there are a number. I think the one I found the, the most touching was General Petraeus, who talked about his father coming over from Holland during World War II. And in the story that General Petraeus told, 
you can see why he has spent his life serving America and defending freedom, because it grows right out of his father's experience. Well, he's a great man. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you about this business about failure. Uh, Jackie, you may not have had <laughs> failure yet, but your father, I'm sure, has experienced a lot of them. Well, you're exactly right, and um, we've both experienced failure. His failure has been a little more uh, public than mine, <laughs> as I tell people, but that's such a great lesson. I think sometimes we overlook the importance of failure because everybody fails, and it's really important for us to understand that it's okay to fail, yes. that you need to actually get back up and move forward and to use all the talents that God's given you, and that's what my dad's taught me is to really to move forward and not worry about the failure but to learn from it. New, the, the Democrats have swept the table and you're a leading Republican. You're supposed to enjoy life. How do you enjoy that? Well, you know, Pat, I'm old enough now. I lived through the 1964 landslide for Lyndon Johnson. I lived through the 1976 victory for uh, Jimmy Carter. I lived through the uh, 1992 victory for Bill Clinton. And in each case, within two to four years, we came roaring back because you just can't govern America successfully from the left. Uh, you can't be a citizen of the world. You can't be for higher taxes. You can't be for radical left-wing social policies. Uh, the American people are solid, common-sense folks. This is a center-right country. It's not a left-wing country. And my prediction is that uh, 2010 and 2012 are going to be great years, and the American people are going to show up in huge numbers and decide they want to get us back on the right track. So happiness is important right now, is that right? That's exactly right. <laughs> well, Newt Gingrich and his lovely daughter, Jackie, have written a book, Principles for a Successful Life. It's rather interesting. It's got a whole lot of firsthand testimonies of those who've made it. And thank you all for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. God bless you. Terry? Sound principles. You want to, Five. We, we can remember those. We, we sure can. All right. <laughs> Set great. big goals and, and dream big, dream, right? Dream big and have fun. <laughs>